to a busy start at the state capitol where lawmakers have already begun to author legislation on some key issues that are facing California this year. Tonight, Senate leaders from both sides of the aisle are talking about their legislative priorities going forward. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Eric Harriman and I'm Nikki Lorenzo. Fox 40 Capitol reporter Aton Wallace spoke with them about how they plan to achieve their goals as the state faces a potential multi billion dollar budget shortfall. Well, homelessness, drought, water, those are just some of the issues legislators here at the state capitol hope to tackle this year, but they acknowledge doing so will not be easy, especially with a projected budget deficit top of mind. I'm incredibly optimistic. Optimistic is how Senate President Pro Tempore Tony Atkins says she's feeling about the year ahead. It's scheduled for Wednesday. The first woman and openly LGBTQ plus person to serve as Senate President Pro Tem. Atkins will soon mark five years in that role. Now part of a legislature considered one of the most diverse in California history, thanks in part to a record 50 women. We are representative of all the diversity of California. So that's a new energy. A new energy in a legislature that now must address a new challenge in the form of a projected $22.5 billion deficit facing the state in the next fiscal year. Our hope is to avoid those kinds of serious cuts that we've had to deal with in the, in the last decade. When I got to the legislature 12 years ago, $26 billion deficit. Uh, and then we had to make cuts. But she believes such serious cuts will be largely avoided this time because of action the state has taken, including more than $30 billion saved away for this type of scenario. I think we're better situated than we ever have been despite all of the challenge. We have the highest reserves ever so that our goal will be to protect our progress. Progress she hopes to make this year with investments on issues like housing and climate, including drought, floods, and wildfire mitigation. But she says there's one issue in particular at the top of her list. Homelessness is really uh, just amazingly out of control. We are working very hard on that. We have funds already allocated. We just need the implementation and to get those funds out uh, in the communities where the work can be done. Republicans, we're, we are focused on fixing California. Senate Minority Leader Brian Jones says amid recent storms, he and his GOP colleagues want to see the state invest more in water storage. I would encourage the governor today under one of his executive orders, start building the reservoirs. On how to at least help close the projected deficit, Jones has this message for Newsom. Stop spending on the high-speed rail and start spending on projects that Californians need right now. Roads, bridges, you know, we had a $100 billion surplus last year and we're swinging to a deficit in one year. Eitan, that's unacceptable. And all of this comes as the legislature technically still is gaveled into a weeks long special session on oil prices. I'm told that special session could last several more weeks or even months. Reporting from the state capitol, Eitan Wallace, Fox 40 News. And this week